Virgil van Dijk, Champions League winner, leader, defensive rock, and a super chill dude. And today, we bumped into him on a Nike shoot for the new Jumbo Legend 8 and decided to get some insights on why he's always so calm and collected and, of course, also why he's impossible to get past. My mentality comes from what I've experienced over the years. I think I've been working hard for every step of the way. I've never had a, you know, easy route to where I am. I always made sure that I had to keep working hard, stay humble, and that makes me who I am right now and just, you know, keep working hard. I think at games, you need to turn nervous feelings to more excitement anyway, otherwise you're gonna limit your ability to play. You're gonna put it in your head that you don't wanna make mistakes and normally then you're gonna make mistakes. So. Um, the thing is when you play games, when I play games, I just want to go out there, show everything that I got and have no regrets after the game. And anyone these days can have their opinions, but not a lot matter to me other than, you know, the people around me and, and my team and, and the family and friends. As a defender, you always like to contribute whether it is with clean sheets, obviously that's the most important thing, but if you can contribute with a goal, that is always you know, a good thing. And if you look at me personally, I'm a bit, pretty tall and I should be dangerous in attacking corners, free kicks, so I'm working on it. It's not easy because normally I'm marked with the strongest head of the opponent, but I'm trying my best and uh, that's the only thing you can do. The Champo boot is just a, a very comfortable boot. I think uh, I've been enjoying playing with it since my younger years. It was leather, that's very important for me as personally. And uh, yeah, I'm just very enjoying every bit of it. The best advice that I have got is to stay humble, keep working hard and enjoy every bit of the way because before we know it's, it's all gonna be over and you don't wanna have any regrets after it. And that's the most important thing I would tell young players now as well because that's what definitely has been on my mind and hanging and staying on my mind as well. So, and it works. I've benefited a lot from defending 1v1 by playing on the streets. I've played a lot of you know, five-a-side games when I was younger and uh, I love to attack as well at that point. And so you got, the, you got a bit of a feeling how attackers, you know, might, might think in certain situations. And obviously that comes with experience as well during, you know, my professional career. But I think if you want to progress in defensively or attackingly, you just keep playing on the streets, keep enjoying, you know, going outside and playing with friends. <laughs> 